My name is Jason Call. Jason Call, where are you from and why are you here? I'm here from Washington 2nd District and I'm here to make sure I uh, do everything I can to get Nina Turner elected to this congressional seat. God, wh why is it so important to you that we have Nina Turner in Congress? Well, we need uh, more people in Congress who are going to be unbought and unbossed, as the saying goes. Um, just like uh, Nina, I don't take any corporate uh, PAC money for my campaign in Washington 2nd District. And I think, uh, you know, we are plenty represented by uh, uh, the big money interests in Congress. We have very little representation for the working class, and we need to, we need to do something about that. Uh, obviously, our, our demo Democratic majorities are not good enough at this moment, so we need pe more people who are going to stand up for the poor, for the working class, stand up for peace, stand up for racial justice. Uh, Nina embodies all of that. Uh, I've, been, I've been following her since uh, 2016 when, when Bernie first ran his, his race, and, and she is just fire and, and uh, amazingly inspiring event today and um, uh, we got to get her elected. That's right, that's right. And uh, uh, what if progressives like Nina Turner, progress progressives like you, if they make it into Congress, if y'all make it into Congress, then what? What do we get as people for electing progressives? Well, we get a, we get a, a Congress and a government that is going to stand up for justice, uh, is going to stand up for, for people instead of the wealthy and powerful. Obviously, we have a massive imbalance in this country right now, um, and, and the, the power that wealth brings uh, is inherently undemocratic. So people like uh, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and uh, any number of other names um, are, are not just wealthy. They are, they are so wealthy that they, they are able to uh, control the levers of power on their own behalf. Um, power seeks to maintain itself and expand itself. The working class in this country cannot afford that any longer. We are on the verge of environmental collapse. Uh, we are on the verge of economic collapse for so many people in this country. Um, and uh, I, I honestly, I, if, if we don't make some serious systemic changes right now, um, things are going to get very, very ugly. We have had we have had real revolutions uh, over and over and over again through the, throughout the course of human history. Um, and, uh, and I believe that we're approaching something like that. So if we want to have peaceful transition, like John F. Kennedy said, um, it, it, you know, if, uh, if uh, peaceful revolution is uh, made impossible, then violent revolution will be inevitable. I don't think anybody wants to see that, um, but we, we are getting close. Um, do you feel like progressives right now have the momentum or have more momentum than they've ever had in our lifetimes? I, I do, and, I, and I, I truly believe that Nina is going to be a catalyst for, for much more of that. Um, in, uh, you know, her election is a special election, uh, but if, if she gets elected right here, um, we're going to see uh, a, a, lot of, um, a lot of other progressives, uh, possibly myself, um, but, uh, you know, there are many great progressives running all across the country, and I think that there's going to be more fire and momentum behind them if we can get Nina elected right now. Gotcha. Are you surprised at all uh, about the establishment pushback? No. Not at all. Um, well, you know, like I said, establish, uh, the power seeks to maintain its, uh, itself and expand itself. And that's really what's going on here with, uh, with um, all of the dark money that's pouring in uh, to a candidate who, who is uh, certainly willing to take GOP donor money, uh, willing to take money from all of the industries that are, that are killing people in the planet right now. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's, it, is, it is no surprise at all that the status quo wants to maintain itself. That's what it does. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Jason. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one.